Hi, my name is Ankit Chamoli and I'm with my friend Arvind Mohan. Behind the camera, we have today Hardik Mittal. So, I welcome you all to this video title from anger to jealousy to love. Let's begin. Now, let me tell you one thing. I call it the life pyramid. At the base, we could imagine anger. Then above it, jealousy. Then a thin line of forgiveness and ultimately love. So this is exactly what life pyramid or the pyramid of life is. Let's start. The first thing, anger. Now anger is something that is a predetermined situation in today's world. People are trying to control it, trying to depress it, but they are not getting anywhere. Anger has become something which is like everybody is trying to cure it, but nobody is actually doing the work. It is something like everybody is, they tell the other person, okay, I am getting angry and they, they are not going the extra mile in doing the cure for it. They are not uh, actually impl implementing on the situations how to improve it. Now, what exactly leads to imbalance or I should say, why is anger at the first place harmful to you? Because medical science says that, the medical science proves it, that when you are angry, there is mental imbalance. There is a lot of atrial tension which you are going through. And a and lot of researches have been done on this. And they are proving that all, all I should say, what anger is basically do, uh, doing to you is degrading yourself. And I think degrading is the best word to use for this. Second thing. If you are angry, how can you improve? How can you uh, how can you control anger? This is one of the leading questions I should uh, say that which is more important than why and what anger does because everybody wants to improve or I should say get rid of their anger. So the first thing which they can do is whenever you are angry, just take a deep breath in. Simply take a deep breath in whenever you are angry. And okay, now after taking the deep breath in, the second thing is accepting. Accepting that, okay, I'm getting angry and improving it on each single day, on, on the regular basis. Because people are accepting but they are not improving. So improving each and every single day, maybe minutely, but those small, small things will count at the end. The third key idea, which is very important, is thinking before you speak. Now, in the moment of, of that anger, what people speak there, it's just out of their mind. They, they just speak. And I, uh, what happens is that which they are not thinking about and it's leading to regret. Now, if you want to get, uh, if you want to remove this regret, then think before you speak because thinking would be very essential. So, these three key ideas are not simply what I am just saying. These I have experienced myself implemented and I'm therefore telling you. Now we are going to talk about revenge. The correct recipe to prepare revenge is anger plus jealousy. Anger and jealousy is one of the best dishes. And it is, I should say that, this is very well known and it said that revenge is the best served course. But at the end of the day, why? Why? There are so many people who are wasting their lifetime in taking revenge. What is the use of it? There's so much to do in life, there's so much to learn in life that they are wasting their whole lifetime taking revenge from somebody else which at the end of the day or at the end of their lifetime won't be of any use. And this is where people need to transcend beyond revenge and then they should land upon forgiveness. I've earlier also said this, forgiveness is the fragrance that the violet sheds on the heels that crushed it. It is very true, forgiveness is the fragrance. There is that forgiveness because that's the thin line between love. Have you ever in life, ever in life, seen a monument dedicated to anger or jealousy or hatred or anything else? No, never, ever. At least to my knowledge, there isn't any monument dedicated to it. The only mon monument dedicated would be to love. Because all these things, anger will go, jealousy will perish. But love love remains in eternity thank you all